Welcome back to Educator.com. This is QuickBooks lesson, Setting Up Inventory. The first thing that we need to talk about is how inventory works with some businesses. If you're in a business that is just a service-oriented business, you may not have to worry about this particular lesson. But if you are utilizing inventory and reselling that inventory, then this is a great lesson for you. And QuickBooks is designed to help you manage your inventory and track your the number of inventory you have. So you don't lose track of what you have on hand. A lot of times in business, if we don't have a good tracking system, it's really difficult to manage our costs. So setting up inventory, the first thing we need to do is turn on the inventory feature in QuickBooks. And to do this, we need to go to our preferences page. So to get to our preferences in QuickBooks, while QuickBooks is open, go to our edit menu bar and select preferences. Under that, we want to look at our items and inventory and select the company preferences tab. We want to make sure that the very first item under purchase orders and inventory, inventory and purchase orders are active, make sure that that box is checked and then we can go ahead and proceed and begin tracking our inventories. Once that is selected, we can then go ahead and click on OK, and we're ready to begin entering inventory and products into our system and be able to start tracking those inventory numbers. So the next section that we're going to talk about now is how to enter products into our inventory. A lot of times we might uh, buy product from a wholesaler and then turn around and, and resell it for a profit. So the first thing we might want to do is is make sure that we can enter in the products that we're selling properly. To enter in a product into inventory, we want to go to our vendors menu. Under the vendors menu, we'll see down here under inventory activities or actually the um, item list at the very bottom. We want to pull up our item list. The other way that we can pull up our item list is by going to lists and choosing our item list. But through this, per, uh, this process, we'll go vendors, and at the very bottom, choose our item list. Here gives us an entire listing of every product and service that we have to offer and which we're in business for. So in order to add a new item, let's suppose that we're going to um, uh, add a new item. So under the activities, um, or actually item menu button at the very bottom left of our item list menu or window, we'll see the item button at the very bottom left. We'll click on that and select new. If you're familiar with adding things to items, lists, or to chart of accounts, you can always do a control N to get to the new item list. The item that we're going to add is going to be a, uh, a new inventory part, and it will be a, uh, an inventory part. So we'll select inventory part. In the item name slash number field, we're going to type in cab, for short for cabinet. We'll call it 2015. That's the style number. We're going to press tab, and we're going to select, it's a sub-item of cabinets. So we'll select our cabinets as a sub-item. I typed it in. You can always dr pull the drop down menu and select cabinets. The next thing that we want to do is we want to go into the description of the purchase, uh, the description of the, um, uh, on purchase transactions, very middle of the page where it says description on purchase transactions. And we're going to type in kitchen cabinet. number 2015. If we hit tab, notice that it copies the same information into the sales information. From the purchase information, it copies it over as the description of sales transactions as well. So we have that taken care of. Under the cost section, we're going to say it's, it's $169. And the preferred vendor, we're going to choose Thomas kitchen and bath. That's where we're purchasing 
these cabinets from. It's from Thomas Kitchen and Bath. In the sales price field, we want to sell it to our customers for $225. A bit of a market there. We're going to leave the tax code as is, that there is a tax there. And uh, at this point, um, we'll go ahead and, and choose the income account for this. And it's going to be a construction type of income, and it will be materials. So under our construction income, we have a sub-account called material income. And we'll choose that. We'll go ahead and hit tab out of that. It'll bring us into the asset account. And under the asset account field, we'll just go ahead and make sure that it is an inventory asset. And we'll leave it there because that's good. We want to know that when we're down to a certain number of, of uh, cabinets in this, so we want to be able to reorder these. So it gives us a reorder point. QuickBooks will remind us when we get down to a certain supply number that it's time to reorder. We'll choose that when we have 15 cabinets on hand that it's time to reorder this item. On hand, let's say we already have 20 of those. We'll hit tab and it automatically calculates the $169 cost times the 20 to be a value of $3,380 that we have on hand. And that, and then we can choose the date as of today's date, which is fine. We'll go ahead and click on OK to close the new item window. And we'll notice that we now have the cabinet 2015 kitchen cabinet item number 2015 now added under our cabinets there.